Most of the time, I don't actually wear makeup until I've decided my outfit. So it's like, okay, this would look really good. It kind of completes my look. Yeah, I do like the change. I like to enhance, obviously, my features. So it is, it is nice to see, huh? Yeah, my eyebrows look good today or whatever. <laughs> Maria Adrissi is a Muslim and a model, and she's on a mission to change the way people think. I think it was the thing where with, with brands like H&M, for example, every fashion brand you have to have this very blank canvas, like you can't show any political or religious preference. So they always saw a Muslim woman with a hijab, like it might seem too, you know, politically motivated or religious, but it, the fact that they deliberately avoided using us is actually in fact the opposite, it's quite insulting when really we're just normal girls, we just choose to cover our head. Exciting. <laughs> That's tra like trainers, because we've got some heels as well. We just know like how you wanted to switch um, it up. I'd love to see what you what you guys have. Okay, cool. We'll show you. Yeah. Say trainers, say trainers. <laughs> <laughs> and we're filming a little video. It's like a promotional video to raise awareness of not enough ethnic people giving blood basically in the UK. They're doing loads of like Thai Maria Idrissi is in demand. She's filming for the National Health Service, chosen for her look and appeal and her fashion taste. If people don't, don't think of hijabs and, and, and headscarves in terms of fashion enough, and she's taken it from being a faith thing to being a fashion thing. In terms of Mariah herself, it's brilliant that we've got such an authentic, articulate, uh, eloquent voice to really get an important message out there to her own community. Okay? Yeah. Wear socks and sandals. But this is the ad that gave her a place in history. Blink and you might miss it. But with those few seconds, she became the first hijab-wearing woman to be involved in a major campaign for a fashion brand. I'm just naturally really a fast-paced type person, so... Um, but when I do look back, it's literally so many things have happened in a space of like 11 months. She thinks more brands should wake up to the untapped Middle Eastern market. They spend, I think, the most in terms of fashion and lifestyle than any other cultural background. So why not use someone of that culture and background to actually use as marketing rather than just behind the scenes? It's all along here, they've put stalls out, and it's a really famous, famous market, really good one. Portobello Road, a famous London street, and just one of the places Coralie Rose seeks out the models and actors of the future. I'm looking for um, people that remind me of myself. I come from a mixed race family, and on TV when I was growing up, there were very few um, people of colour or mixed race families on TV, and it's something that I've always wanted to see more of. She spotted Maria in a mall. What did you see in Maria when you saw her in that shopping centre? Maria just has such a great look. She's got such a good style. She's so unique in her ways. She's so British in her ways. Um, and she just, there was something about her that I was just really attracted to. And so I just took her photo, took her details, and thought, and one day I'm going to use her. Maria. So we're in East London. Um, we're actually doing a shoot for Arb, which is a modest fashion brand. Movement. Head down. Yeah, it's coming out really great. She's, she's working well. Um, she's taking in what we're saying and uh, I think, yeah, it's, it, it looks really cool. Maria's religion is important to her. I pray, I fast, I believe that there's only one God. So, you know, I have the, the basic foundations instilled in me and everything else, you know, trying. <laughs> She's now been picked up by a major modelling agency, but she accepts there will be restrictions. She'd never do catwalk work, but she's OK letting a male makeup artist transform her face. Ironically, the only criticism has come from other Muslims who see her chosen career as immodest. Just because it's something new, and if you're quite conservative, you might not understand fully, but most, like 99% of the time when people physically meet me, if they had any, you know, perceptions of what they think I do, it just changes. Hi. How are you? I'm joking. 
The career might be taking off, but there are some things that haven't changed. Her family is her grounding, where the realities of life are not always so glamorous. She's bombing, obviously. <laughs> oh my god, he went all the way down there! Yeah. <laughs> I hope it doesn't show in the camera. <laughs> yeah, I think it's already. <laughs> There's so much negativity going on in the media at the moment with Muslim people. You know, there's a terrorist attack after terrorist attack, and it's not concentrating on anything positive that we actually are, who we really are, and what our religion really promotes, which is love and peace. Really nice. Thanks. You know, she, she's, she's trying to promote um, Islam in the fashion modesty kind of way. I'm so proud of her. She is um, an amazing person who deserves this and more. Maria Odrissi is now an ambassador for a children's charity and wants to be an example for other young Muslim women. Even though I'm just in the beginning of my journey, I'm here just through being myself. I never had to compromise any morals or beliefs. You know, I didn't have to, as you like, sell my body to get where I need to be, like many, unfortunately, many young women are doing today just to, you know, get to where they want to be in life. So I think that's my main message. Like, you can do it being yourself.